Ask Universities Anything. That is a series that SIIC is coming up with so that all your questions that you have in regards to admissions, scholarships, programs, anything that you want to ask a university, you have it right here. So we are starting the series with one of our esteemed partners, Trent University. I am very pleased to welcome Connor, Manager Admissions at Trent University. Welcome. Thanks for having me. And thank you for taking time out. My pleasure. Beautiful. Because I think Canadian experience is all about warmth. It is. Happy and get gaining the whole community experience while you are there, mm -hmm. correct? Mm -hmm. That's that's what matters. Yeah. Wonderful. Now, most of the students who are looking at bachelor's degree, yeah. I genuinely feel that bachelor's degrees in Canada are amongst the best in the world. I specifically agree. because of the cooperative education. Yes. Because today it's all about Education, skills, both have to go hand in hand yep. when you're looking at full-time job market. Yep. Please help us understand what is a co-op, um, you know, how does it help you when you go out in the job market? Yep. Now, please help us understand that. Absolutely. So co-ops are a wonderful opportunity for you as a student to get paid work experience through the course of your undergraduate studies. Uh, and co-ops are typically paid uh, unless uh, explicitly stated otherwise. Trent's co-ops are all paid across our more than 20 co-op programs. Uh, and having that experience as a co-op student means that you're getting into businesses, you're getting into companies, you're getting hands-on real-world experience earlier than any of your peers would be if they're taking a non-co-op program. Okay. So apples to apples, if you're going into a co-op program and a colleague of yours isn't, you're going to graduate with in-person real experience right. uh, in that industry that you want to work in. You're going to get references, you're going to get contacts, mm. and by the time you graduate, you may have between um, you know four months and uh, you know sometimes a couple of years worth of co-op experience wow. under your belt before you graduate. This puts you ahead of other candidates when you're applying to jobs as well. Very true, and I think that's what across the globe, that's what industries yes. are looking at. Yeah. That's that's wonderful. Especially in the job market that we have right now across the world. It, it really is important. Correct. Trent is located in Oshawa, right? Yes. So help us understand what's the USP of Oshawa as a place. Yeah. Because very closer to GTA. Yes. So how does a student get really benefited by studying there? Absolutely. So Trent has two campuses. We have a campus in Peterborough, Ontario, and then we have a campus in uh, in Oshawa, our Durham, Greater Toronto Area campus, which is about uh, half an hour outside of downtown Toronto. Toronto is the largest metropolitan region in Canada, uh, and having the campus in Oshawa a little bit outside of that means that students are close to the center of industry. Uh, Oshawa is uh, very well known for uh, General Motors, which is a, a very large Canadian uh, car company uh, and has a, a large factory there. Um, automation, high-tech jobs are there. There's been an increase in, in, um, in, in tech companies in the region as well. Uh, and the proximity of Oshawa, uh, that campus, being so close to the financial corridors in Toronto, mm. uh, which control the financial uh, powers in, in Canada, essentially, right. means that students are getting co-ops, they're getting work placements, right. they're getting uh, jobs in these, you know, in the halls of financial power. So the proximity to um, where everything happens in the in the uh, in the province, and you know, honestly, in Canada, um, really make Oshawa an attractive place to study. Uh, and Trent has just opened a um, a new building in downtown Oshawa called the Advanced Learning Center, uh, which places the students directly in that urban core with access to yeah. business development, access mm. to um, uh, you know opportunities and, and jobs within that core. And uh, so so close to the the whole where the yeah. where the action is happening. Exactly. And plus affordability as well, right? Yes. In regards to so if if I have to ask you from Toronto. Uh, GTA area and uh, Oshawa, yeah. the affordability in terms of living expenses, is it a little cheaper than that? How it is, it? yeah. So typically the farther you go out from the urban cores, it gets a little bit cheaper from right. there. So being about half an hour outside of downtown, uh, the downtown Toronto core means that you are finding more affordable rents, you are finding more affordable housing through there. Mm. Perfect. I think so. It's a win-win situation. Win-win-win, yeah. Absolutely. In terms of programs, yep. the business programs, specifically at an undergrad level, there are a lot of students in India who are doing commerce but don't have mathematics. Okay. So Trent University does, do you take bachelor students in business programs yep. without mathematics as well? We do if they're in the commerce stream. So if a commerce stream, you do not need mathematics. But exactly. If 
outside commerce stream, any other stream, you would need math. You would need math, yes. And at Trent, we're pretty flexible. Uh, if you um, get that math, uh, applied mathematics, um, uh, that's completely fine in the vast majority of cases. If you're unsure and you're not able to get that math course, we also offer flexibility. Uh, if business is where you want to end up, whether you want to start in a different program and then transfer into business after getting that math course at Trent, we want to help you succeed and get into the programs that you want to study, that students want to study. So we'll get you there, is what I'm trying to say. Got it. And what are the key degrees or faculties at an undergrad level that you'd like to highlight which you know a student can take in once they're looking for admissions yeah so we have a number of cool programs um, i'm particularly partial to a couple of the newer programs that we've started to offer uh, a new program this year in software engineering co-op which will okay. kind of combine everything we've been talking about so far in our in our interview and in our uh, ask admission ask uh, universities anything session today uh, about you know access to jobs access to high tech um, you know placements and things like that mm -hmm. uh, we have um, many co-op stream programs more than 20 across both of our, our Peterborough and our uh, Durham, Greater Toronto Area campus. Right. Uh, and then we have a number of business programs as well, uh, a new program in logistics and supply chain management, uh, which really gives a, a high level, but also granular view of the supply and logistics systems that you know make the world work. And without mm. these you know logistics and supply officers, um, you, know, you wouldn't be able to watch the video you're watching today because the materials right. for the laptop or the phone that you're watching on just wouldn't be available. Correct. Right. So true. So which means all the key areas where the employment would be looked at yes. in later years, the degrees are already there. Exactly. So if and if they combine that education with cooperative education that Trent is giving, boom. You're looking at good outcomes later. Exactly. Yeah. Um, almost 100% of our graduates are employed within, uh, you know, very soon after graduation. About 95% of our grads are employed. So absolutely, yeah. Those those skills that we're teaching students through the course of their degrees are getting them jobs in the end. Awesome. The co-op. So I want to yep. let uh, uh, students understand that does university help them to get corporate, you know, co-op options mm -hmm. later? Yeah, yeah. So um, Trent's um, Trent's co-op programs are supported by our career space uh, okay. department. So we have a dedicated team of professionals on campus mm -hmm. who are there to support students in um, seeking out co-ops mm -hmm. in terms of um, helping to find co-ops. It is still mm -hmm. the student's responsibility to apply to co-ops. Right. Uh, and um, you know, the jury's out as to uh, how this, uh, you know. This this does benefit students in the end because you have to go through that process. We're not just going to go and give you a co-op. You will have a list of co-ops to pick from. You pick the one that suits you best, that fits your skills best, um, and your potential outcomes best, and then you go and you interview for it. So you're getting that interview skill, and even if that particular interview doesn't work out, you're going to gain lots and lots of skills that will True. then be able to apply to the next one, and then you'll be successful in that. True, true. So a lot of help lots already of help. there from the university exactly and i think at the age that they're coming in it is so important to embrace all that experience that the university is giving exactly um, yeah great it, exactly i was i was coming out of you know, of, of high school once and i remember uh that uh you know it can be an overwhelming feeling to um to attend a, a brand new institution a brand new place uh and um let alone in a country that you haven't been in before as well so all of that together, um, as we mentioned before, Trent is a comprehensive university. We provide wraparound services. So in the end, students are supported. Correct. And you've got three-year degrees as well, right? We do, yeah. So we do have a couple of, uh, of three-year degrees. Hmm. Um, many of our honors programs can be taken as three-year three -year programs. Um, and the, uh, the nice thing about three-year programs um, is that um, they're not looked at any differently um, uh, in terms of job prospects, in terms of applications. Uh, the only thing you need to be careful of is that if you do plan on going into a master's program, whether it's at Trent or anywhere else in Canada, um, typically you require a four-year honors degree to right. do so. so if you get into a three-year program, you finish that and you say, you know what, actually I want to go into a master's program, typically you can go back, you can upgrade that program very easily uh, and then from there pursue a master's program. So anyone can also do a three-year degree, work for, for a while yep. and then always come back to yep. Trent and finish an honors program as yep. well, yep. which will complete their four years. Exactly. Am I correct? Correct. Awesome. Because People look at affordability as well, and I think this is a great feature if someone wants to take that. Absolutely, up. yeah. Three-year degree is uh, is one year cheaper than a four-year degree. So that affordability piece mm -hmm. is less in rent, it's less in additional costs. Uh, work a little bit, as you were saying, uh, and then you'll come back and complete that fourth year later. Got it. 
and one of the biggest features scholarships trends big on that so please help us understand what absolutely kind of yeah so our undergraduate programs have a number of scholarships we are um, one of the um, uh, you know most uh, generous scholarship universities in uh, in Ontario we're number one in scholarships in Ontario for the past number of years um, as uh, as applicants typically we're looking for minimum averages above 80% uh, and then you can earn up to $25,000 a year off of your tuition so up to $25,000 off um, or $25,000 Canadian. And majorly it is on the basis of academics that student has? Yes, yeah, so we have two different types of scholarships at Trent. Uh, we have our um, marks-based, academic-based scholarships, right. uh, and then we also have a series of what we call our prestigious scholarships as well. Got it, got it. That's fantastic. And you can always get in touch with SIEC for all the details. We'll be helping you through and through with the entire admission process. PG certificates, correct? Yes. Great. I, I mean, this is amazing the way university has come up with such specific PG certificates yeah. and they are so skill based what I what we've seen through. Yes. Please help our students know more about that. Yeah, so postgraduate certificates um, have been created um, out of a desire from students to have education in very specific areas of study once they finish their undergraduate degree. So Trent's postgraduate certificate programs have been developed over the last number of years. We like to consider our, consider ourselves a leader in postgraduate certificates uh, in, uh, in Ontario and in Canada, I'd argue as well. Um, we offer single certificates which are one-year right. programs and we offer dual certificates as well which are two-year programs okay. uh, these programs vary uh, from business programs they vary from um, um, you know programs in uh, financial analytics and applied artificial intelligence wow. uh, you know which yeah. is you know a huge buzzword right now right. And, and a huge area of interest for students for industry uh, and arguably for the world yeah and the kind of programs that are there I think that will really add on yeah. Perfect. Any any specific piece of advice that you'd like to give students who are coming to Trent for their higher studies? For me, uh, I work in our admissions team. So I'm an admissions manager uh, by day. Uh, I work with all of our undergraduate students and our postgraduate students. Um, if it's one piece of advice I could have, it would be to um, know our deadlines, understand the process. You have great support here at SIEC as well in terms of supporting you through that application um, and take ownership of your application as well. Uh, ultimately, this is your application. You want to make sure that you uh, are aware of what's going on uh, and really just empower yourself with that notion that you know this is where you want to go. Um, there's lots you can do to get there. Um, and then finally, uh, reach out when you have help. We're all human, uh, we've all been in your shoes before and we're only here to help. Uh, our admissions team, uh, SIEC, uh, you know, any, anybody from Trent is here to help you through your, uh, through your academic uh, and, uh, and uh, comprehensive journey at Trent. Perfect, thank you so much, Connor. My pleasure. And any one of you has any questions about Trent University, you want to know the ex from the experts about anything under the sun, please put your questions uh, you know, to us and we will make sure that you have all your answers right away. Thank you so much.